Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the gaming world's latest and greatest. Today, we're exploring an exciting new title that's stirring the waters of the Souls-like genre Deathbound. With its innovative party-based system and a world where science clashes with faith, Deathbound is set to redefine what we expect from a Souls-like experience. Let's embark on this journey through the mystical world of Zierminal and uncover what makes Deathbound a game to watch out for. Deathbound emerges as a captivating new entry in the Souls-like genre, developed by the creative minds at Trial Forge Studio. Unlike traditional Souls-likes, Deathbound introduces a unique party-based system where players don't just control one character. They have the power to switch between four distinct heroes, each with their own traits and combat styles. Set in the intriguing world of Zierminald, a place torn between the echoes of ancient science and the dominance of prevailing faith, this game invites players to a challenging yet mesmerizing adventure. At its core, Deathbound revolutionizes the Souls-like formula by allowing players to absorb the essence of fallen warriors, thereby switching between four heroes during combat. This isn't your typical party system. Instead of fighting side by side, you embody these heroes' identities, weaving their abilities and styles into your strategy. From the graceful Afro-Brazilian Capoeira fighter Mamdial to the enigmatic sorceress Olivia Hines, each character offers a unique approach to the game's challenging battles. Let's meet our heroes. Each character is designed with originality in mind, offering diverse playstyles that cater to various combat preferences. Mamdial brings the rhythmic and fluid combat style of Capoeira, turning the battlefield into a dance of death. Their own Gilliman, the quintessential knight, offering a balanced mix of offense and defense. Like Heroes of Merava, embraces brute strength and ferocity, ideal for players who prefer power over finesse. Olivia Hines and Anna Lepis, masters of sorcery and stealth, respectively, adding layers of tactical depth to combat. Choosing your quartet wisely is crucial, as their personalities can harmonize or clash, affecting the dynamics of your journey with potential buffs or debuffs. Deathbound's gameplay is a dance of strategic prowess and adaptability. Players must navigate the world of Zierminal, making real-time decisions on which hero's abilities best suit the challenges ahead. Each hero boasts their own HP pool, adding a strategic layer to managing your party's health. But beware, the death of one hero spells doom for all, heightening the stakes of every encounter. In a gaming landscape rich with Souls-like titles, Deathbound aims to carve its niche by blending traditional challenging gameplay with innovative mechanics and a fascinating narrative backdrop. The game's unique blend of faith, science, and the beautifully crafted world of Zierminal sets it apart, promising a fresh experience even for seasoned Souls-like veterans. Deathbound is not just a game, it's a testament to innovation in a beloved genre, challenging players to rethink their approach to the Souls-like challenges. With its slated release in 2024, the anticipation is building. What are your thoughts on this party-based twist to the Souls-like formula? Will Deathbound be the breath of fresh air the genre needs? Share your thoughts, theories, and expectations in the comments below, and if you're excited about diving into the world of Zierminal, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more gaming deep dives. Until next time, keep your gaming spirits adventurous.